so excited today to be here with you, Ruth, my friend. Yes, great Ruth day. Ruth Camilleri. Not only is she a great, great cook, but she's also the mother of the famous NHL hockey player and star of Calgary Flames, Mike Camilleri. Thank you. So is this one of his favorites, Ruth? This is one of his favorites, and I want to welcome you into my kitchen because I love making this meal. I used to make it all the time. The kids just love it. Right. Guests and friends also. And what it is, it's a quick, it's a go-to meal. It's the pasta with the asparagus and the bacon. And the good thing about this recipe is you can also, you know, put in other things. You can change it up if you want. You don't yeah. use bacon, yeah. you can use pancetta, whatever. Right. So um, it's a relatively simple uh recipe to cook and I'll just show you I use regular bacon and I just use you can use anything like I said and I just fry it up like that yeah and then once it's fried I take it out and I leave the fat in there and I actually use I drain the bacon on this cloth here so that it takes out some of the fat right but then and I'm the taking, asparagus I don't blanch my asparagus I kind of cheat and it's, it's not really super healthy but I saute it in the bacon fat Mm -hmm. Now, I just want to show though. you, it's really good, but well, I just want to show you, what I do is I have this asparagus, and they come in all different sizes and shapes, right? Mm -hmm. And of course, I just break off the bottom part, right. and then what I actually do is I peel it a bit, so I get rid of that hard stuff, oh, good okay? Idea. And it comes a little bit more tender. Yeah. So then what I do yeah. is I just throw this in, and as I'm doing this, I'm also boiling my pasta. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just saute that up, okay? Okay, I'll just turn that down just a little bit. And then I saute that up. Once that saute is five minutes, it takes approximately, that's about it. Okay. Then I actually take my bacon, and I use scissors, you can use whatever you want. I just make it into little chunks like that. Okay. Now you're going to give me this recipe oh, to put online so honey, everybody can have it. it. Yep, and everybody's going to love it. We're going to have it for lunch today, you're just going to love it. I throw this in here, good. And then I just give that a quick little toss. And the magic of this dish is using this electric fry pan. Yvonne, I live with this electric fry pan. I mean, I don't know. You can do it stove top. Brilliant. You can do it however you want. It looks but I, really it's amazing. Do you want and me to get some? You got the sure. pasta ready? You grab the pasta. Well, I've already pre cooked the pasta. Now well, you can great. use whatever pasta you want. And how much do you want me to put in? I think I would toss that whole thing in there. The whole thing. Yeah, because you know what? What else did Mike, when as a child, I mean, he's such an unbelievable skater and player. Oh, thank you. What else did he eat as a favorite when he was like little? Well, you know, it's a funny thing. Pasta was our go to meal then, because that's what we knew of at that time. Everybody mm -hmm. was eating that. So it was like this typical, you know, they come home from school, I would make a pasta, a chicken. Mm -hmm. You know, we ate rice, and that was our staple. Things have changed now that we've learned more about nutrition and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. But, um, you know, at that time, it was just really easy, and I would incorporate all kinds of things with the pasta. I could make soups and mm -hmm. anything you want. And really now he's a new daddy. He is. I'm so proud of the grandmother of a nice... Beautiful, beautiful 10 month old little girl. Oh, that's she's great. gorgeous. Maybe she'll skate. You know what? I'd be interested. Like him. I, it'll be interesting. I think she's a bit, I mean, it's hard to know, and you know, we're all grandmothers, but we're very proud of her. And she seems to be pretty athletic, and she's a strong girl. Oh, wow. So that's, that's it. That's amazing. So, yeah. Great. See, and you just saute it again, and then it's obviously yeah. warm. So, what we do at this point is I actually take uh, the mozzarella, and I use the round ball of mozzarella. The mozzarella, just from the store, the vast right. you can buy any local grocery store. Not bocconcini. Not bocconcini. That's because that confused That's right. right. And I just cut it up like this, and I make it into little, little oh. cubes. Because the mozzarella is very sticky, right? Yeah. So I make it into little cubes, and I separate the cubes. Okay. And I have done here. Yeah, perfect. And then, once this is, you know, it's a quick saute, it's already pre-cooked, right? Oh, right. So, right, and the smell, the aroma, it makes the house. Oh, oh my God, how can you go wrong with taking that amazing and myself? I know. <laughs> so what do you think would be a healthier substitute for the bacon and then the fat for the asparagus? Very like what good else question. should we do? Well, because my sister's like almost no. vegan, so I'm just wondering right. what she would do. Well, you could do the turkey bacon, or you could use that substitute steak bacon, mm -hmm. or if you want to use like a pancetta. Or or almost oil. Oil. Like, well, you need, like, you need some kind of a, a substance, okay? Some right. kind of a protein. So you can figure that out anything you want. And then the vegetables you can use anything you want, but the asparagus is a really good healthy choice. Mm -hmm. The other way to do this is to actually use a different pasta. So I would recommend using like a spell pasta. Oh, right, right. So what I do at this point now is it's already warm, so I shut the oven off completely and I just put the lid on. And you give some to me. And I will definitely. So I can eat some. We're going to put the lid on it first. And what that lid will do is it keeps the steam inside oh, so it'll mm. melt the mozzarella cheese. This is great. This, oh, this is your go-to. This is for this every kitchen where you have one. And then when you're done, that's it, you actually plate it which is always a fun thing to do. Wow. 
and you know, I have stuff in my garden I can always decorate, but that's okay. And I gotta get a fork. Oh, we'll get you a fork. We'll get a fork. No problem. A fork. Now does that that melt all See how the it's mozzarella already, already, already melts. melts. That's Look right, that. because of the heat. And then for that's a particular people, certain people that they like different um, like salt and pepper. I don't salt this because there's plenty I'm a of pepper salt. Girl. I was just going to show you. I have my pepper here. Oh, right there. Right. Here's my pepper. So I don't salt it because there's enough salt with the Oh, pepper. I love this. And this, this is I love this. Yes, isn't this beautiful? Everyone has to have pepper meal, and it's just automatic. There you go. Like that. And we'll just grab Yvonne a fork so she can try this. This looks great. And this is how he became such a great skater uh, in the uh, NHL. <laughs> Well, I don't want to take, you know, the credit, but sure, why not? <laughs> I'm a dry a good eater. Mm. Delicious, right? Oh my goodness. And how easy is this? And I'm a mozzarella person. This is absolutely delicious. So they can get this and you gave me spinach salad that he bought. Oh, there's an amazing and spinach salad. As a little made, guy. That's right. And I used to do it raw. Oh, amazing. Yeah, we just take a bag of spinach and make a mm -hmm. little dressing and it was delicious. And it is that. delicious. He was a good eater. We had no problems with that. So, mm. yeah, and I love to cook. Cooking is one of my things that I like to do. And I got to get butternut squash. Oh, I make a really nice oh, butternut squash. Oh, my goodness. So good. This is yeah. delicious. Enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, so good. Good. And, and good luck. I think we're going to join you in that too now. We can play mm -hmm. some more and we can all have a little party here. Or we can go next season with Calvary Plains. Oh, thank you very much. And I hope he does really well as oh, usual. Thank you, Yvonne. You're a delight. Well, this is great. Um, so we're going to have the recipe for this on the website. Yeah, sure. And you don't mind sharing this Oh, it's my pleasure. And I just want you all to have it and enjoy yeah. it. And thank really you so much. I'm coming good. back for more. You can come anytime. Okay, I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you for that. Bye-bye. Okay, bye everybody.